Hello and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Mad. I'm your host as always, doing the Captain Coffee, and we have another Agatha All Along Episode 3 review. Now this episode, it gives us some more revelations of some a big character in the MC, well, in the, in Marvel Comics in general. Um, but it was, it didn't hook me as well as the first two episodes. But I still say it was quite a nice, it was a good episode, all in all sort of thing. Um, the the revelation and what happens at the end, they're the two big, for me, big points to say. But we'll get on to that message we're going on anyway sort of thing. So now they're on, on the Witch's Road, they're in like trial mode basically that sort of thing. Uh, Charon's basically shouting and saying, look, this is kidnapping. We, whatever was chasing us wanted her, not us wanted her sort of thing so that was quite amusing sort of thing she's trying to get signal to like get help sort of thing but nobody trusts Agatha obviously because well they've just seen come up not the scene but what's they've heard coming down the stairs and just the whole mess of like them run, running into the road and everything so Agatha is still very much enemy, num enemy number one to the other witches sort of thing but uh as they're going along sort of thing they find this big house sort of thing and it's basically gonna be trials from all to get through and like it's gonna for this first trial anyway it's sort of pacific specifically targeted one of the witches so this first trial was targeted at the potions potions witch I'm hoping it's not gonna be like a trial at every single episode sort of thing I hope by I don't know maybe f episode six or seven, the trials have finished and they've got to the end of the road and now they've got to sort the end of the road out sort of thing. I, I don't want it to have a trial each episode because if it is a trial each episode, like we were saying on the live stream, I don't think it's going to go down very well and people will get. So oh, what's the point? I'll just wait to the end and see what's at the end of the road sort of thing. They're not going to see that build up with everything else sort of thing. So yeah, it was a bit disappointing. Well, not disappointing, but they're going to have to not try and stretch it out, sort of thing. If you're going to have, or what they did in this episode, and have two, not big revelations, but big things happen, sort of thing. Like, mentioned of a, a big Marvel character that we'll see we'll go on to, or that, at the end of the episode, sort of thing. Yeah, um, as they were uh, going through, they're going to the house sort of thing, and we have like a riddle. So there's like the first riddle of these trials sort of thing. So the riddle is, my age has value, I'm not fun alone, I mess with your mind, my, my tricks are well known. That, again, when I first heard that, I'm like, what the fuck is that sort of thing? I didn't have any clue where or what it'd be sort of thing. But obviously Sharon turns around and goes, oh, wine. Because obviously it's like your very stereotypical housewife, drinking wine, stay at home, mom sort of thing. And um, this shot, she sort of drinks it. Well, they get all of them all to drink it all and that sort of thing. And this is where Agatha, again, basically doesn't get the trust of everybody else sort of thing everybody else drinks it sort of thing and she just tips hers down like a plant sort of thing but without nobody knowing it sort of raises it back up again everybody else drinks theirs Sharon starts swelling up <laughs> it's like oh crap what the hell sort of thing what, what's happened to her sort of thing realise it's actually poison and they've got to use the potions witch basically to make an antidote to a cure sort of thing but then they realise again, hang on, she's not took it. Why is she not took it? She tries to throw it, smashes, but another glass fills up. They get her to obviously drink it to the end that lot. Obviously, they all get, start swelling up. Uh, apart from obviously Agatha, because she's lied and not drank it. Uh, at that point anyway, obviously she does. She, I don't think you ever actually see her get a swollen face though. Not too sure on that. But anyway, they, they all get swollen up. Then they go down. They have hallucinations, like very um, heart palpitations, like really like, hearts going ten to a dozen. And 
I think like basically it leads to death sort of thing. But the first one these all happen sort of to is Sharon. She has the heart palpitations, she has the face swelling up, and then she has this hallucination where it's like, oh Wanda I got Wanda protect him or Wanda let him go or something like that sort of thing. And then she just straight onto the city, she's gone now, she's out for sort of thing. So they all at this point like, right, we need to make a antidote potion, they all split off. And here we get more like uh, information about what was that child room. You know, obviously in the second episode where she's going around the house and there's that child room that's empty. I was like, what the hell is that? Is that a connection between her and Wanda or something like that? We find out from the potions witch that Agatha actually traded her son or child in for, I think it did say son actually, but traded the child in for the Book of the Damned. Now, the Book of the Damned, as we know it, is the Darkhold. That's how she basically got the Darkhold sort of thing. And it was like, well, nobody knows what happened to the child, the, the son or whatever. It was like, some people say he's dead, some people say he's a demon, or, and that's the big thing, he is an agent of Mephisto. When that bit happened, my lord, oh, I was screaming out of the thing. I was just like, yes! It, it's actually been confirmed. Like, Mephisto is an entity. Like, it's like a, oh, a spiritual, like, sorcery sort of ent entity in the MCU. I know people are saying there have like, been references in it and like the picture in, I think it was WandaVision on the stained glass window, it looked like a bit like Mephisto and then there was a M on the second episode of this where it was just, it was supposed to be a W but it was like nearly to, like misshapen as an M sort of thing. So there has been small references to him but now we actually get his name here. Oh boy, I was like, God damn, yes, he's finally been like mentioned, like holy shit, sort of thing. I like, mean, Mephisto has been a thorn in a lot of character sides in the comics, like um, Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom, uh, Spider Man. He's like, I think they try. He's, I think he's like Mephisto's made out that Spider Girl. The daughter from Peter and MJ is like his arch enemy or something like that sort of thing. Um, Silver Surfer, there's just loads of characters that Mephisto has had a, a role against sort of thing. So it was like, oh boy, oh, this is going to be interesting now that we've finally mentioned him. And I tell you what, if he's the reason the end of the road and like the teenager's son is wish thing is to get power and get his mum and dad back is that how you get like I think me and Nate were saying on the live stream is that how you get Wanda back is that how it all comes full circle sort of thing but how they're trying to make out on this especially when they're having that interaction is basically they're trying to make out that the teen is her son Agatha's son sort of thing but then we do find out as well before um they go into the trial that he's actually got a signal sigil on him now it's not just for Agatha it could it looks like it's on all of them so none of them when he said like his name was and stuff like that none of them knew what he said and that's another reason why they, they can't trust Wanda because they're like well hang on a minute did you know he had one of them on him is it your reason why he had one of them on him sort of thing but anyway as they're, after they're all drunk wine and everything like that, and they all try and go off and find the things and that sort of thing, they start having <clears throat> hallucinations and stuff like that sort of thing. Now, the protection witch sees a mum, and her mum's like shouting, I can't protect you and stuff like that sort of thing. The uh, potions witch sees a man, and uh, he basically just tries to like drown her and stuff like that sort of thing. I don't know if they're going to have connections later on down the line, but that's what happens <laughs> sort of thing. Um, the clairvoyancy, right, I think this is the two, or two of the witches from the Salem Seven. Like, she she leads this girl down the path sort of thing, or down these rooms, and she sees these two old 
hags basically out, like, all dishevelled and all looking like, ooh, sort of thing. Um, to see them down this path, and it's like, well, who are they, sort of thing. I think I think they're part of the Salem Seven. That's what it come across to me anyway. I, I think that's them. Um, and obviously, Mrs. Hart shouts something about Wanda, and then you've got. Agatha, when she eventually has her like vision sort of thing down later on, she hears a baby crying and screaming and stuff like that. And you find out that it, she lifts it up and it's the dark hold. So it's like, what the hell has actually happened? Why, why, why are you seeing this? What are you longing to get your son back as well, subconsciously, or something? I really don't know, sort of thing. And obviously, they get all the ingredients because like really like strange ways of saying it, like. Um, one of them's like the internal stuff of an animal, and it's actually honey. Um, one of them's like uh, need jelly, something like that sort of things, like petroleum jelly, is like petrol, or they end up going to the makeup stuff, and it's like the makeup stuff was like, oh, it's supposed to all be organic, eh? You're lying, so and so, and they put all that in, which is quite clever. And it's like when they put all the ingredients in, it's your very stereotypical. Um, hoy or boy or double in doy or little, 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 little sort of thing, and uh, you'll need like hair from one. Which I noticed thinking afterwards, they didn't get one of the person's hair, or if they did, they didn't show it on camera or they didn't mention it because they didn't get Sharon's heart up, oh, heart, heart, dear Sharon's hair, they didn't get hers, and that might be a reason why something else happens later on, but anyway. They all like, put the hair in and stuff like that, so they're not, they're not, it's not working. I mean, like 50 seconds. And like the potions, which is panicking, it's like, oh, 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 crap, oh, 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 sort of thing. Agatha like, grabs her and sort of has a heart to heart. It's like, look, I can't stand you, but you can do so much good. You can do so well. And I left you alone because you could help and all that sort of stuff. And she's saying, like, look, you can do this. You just and you're missing one ingredient, Tyler, and it's like the blood of somebody that's not been poisoned, sort of thing, which comes in to the team because obviously he's not of age. So obviously they slice his hand, put his blood in as well, sort of thing. And it's like it does seem like they are all going to have a massive part to play. Like whatever the thing that they can do and stuff like that, they're all going to have a big part to play. Just I don't know what they're just going to have a massive part. And it was quite clever. And they put the blood in. Da -da -da, it all works. They sort of, for some reason, they sort of all put the hand in. And all of a sudden, they got a shot glass out afterwards. So they all knocked it back. Uh, they realised, oh, Mrs. Hart's challenge not had one. So they get one for her and pass it down to her, sort of thing. But they, I cannot remember if they ever saw or took her hair. But obviously, they get her to drink it on the last second to go. Just shove it down the front, throw basically. Um, so yeah, so they get her to drink it up, and then like there was like, well, where's the exit sort of thing? This like oven basically it opens up. And you you got to climb into the oven, okay? Don't obviously someone don't want to do that, but then because in a part of the episode where she, Agatha's trying to get out and it's like she's panicking and freaking out sort of thing, she cracks the window, but then you realise later on they're actually underwater now, and then that crack gets bigger and they just floods start flooding in the house starts flooding and they were like right well we've got to go down the bleeding oven now so they all climb into the oven they all slide out sort of thing and uh they were like oh well we survived the, survived the first trial and they're like well no actually somebody didn't and it was sharon mrs hart is no more she's gone i called it i knew i told you i might be getting some of nate's powers or something but i told you sharon's no more so, is this how in the next episode we're going to get the like, other girl that was trying to kill Agatha? That's how she comes into it. That'll be very interesting to see. But I knew she weren't going to last long. I knew it. I just I called it. But um, yeah, that's the third episode of Agatha All Along. Not as strong as the first two episodes. I thought it was weren't too bad sort of thing. It was it was an okay episode. But the, the revelations of Mephisto, which. I think a lot of people will be talking about uh, like him being actually named in the MCU now and obviously obviously with Sharon dying as well that puts the whole at the moment that puts the whole coven into jeopardy because like they still needed that other witch sort of thing so I wonder if that's how you're going to lead on with something else 
But anyway, yeah. Good episode, not brilliant, not as good as the first two, but helps the story grow. But anyway, thank you much for joining us on another episode, another Marvel Mad review, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you much, and uh, goodbye for now.